It is now my honor and pleasure to welcome Paul Khalil, the Executive Vice President of Mission Advancement for the American Heart Association. Paul, thank you for all of your work and for being here today in this collaborative effort. Thanks so much. And, and Roy was being incredibly modest here with, with his vision and leadership is one of the driving factors in why we're here in the first place. And we're so grateful to partner with SEAT uh, as Secretariat for the Periodic Table of Food. The reason we're partnering with SEAT is also because of Roy's vision of leadership. When we were in discussions with, with Roy and Rockefeller years ago, uh, and they said, I think it'd be nice if you talk together. And we talked together and we, we were able to, to go so much further together than we could have independently. So. I'm inspired to be with you. This is so important to the mission of the American Heart Association and to global health. And as I think about the impact the periodic table of food can make, it's got the power to expand the knowledge of food composition in unprecedented ways that could have a profound impact on human health, on environmental health. And the resources that we're launching today that were just an idea a short four years ago, are, include tools, data, and training that could revolutionize agriculture in, and nutrition as we know it. Ultimately, they'll help provide a foundation of, of knowledge for future recommendations for food systems, for health, for agriculture, for nutrition. And it's important from the mission of the American Heart Association's perspective to note that the PTFI joins the American Heart Association's other food initiatives uh, to advance our mission of well-being and, and, and ensuring equitable health in all communities. So for example, Roy alluded to healthcare by food, our, our, our food is medicine work with the Rockefeller Foundation, that that, help, that drives research advocacy and education to show clinical benefit and cost effectiveness of food as medicine in a healthcare setting. And we're, we're incredibly grateful for the Rockefeller Foundation's vision, for their generosity, and for their partnership in these food initiatives that have the potential to truly change the world. So thanks to the involvement of, of stakeholders from across the public health ecosystem, we're building a future in which people and communities have equitable access to healthy food to treat and prevent chronic health conditions. We've got a chance to change the world, but it's how we utilize these tools together. The data set we're launching today represents a, a first of its kind effort to map food quality that could lead to groundbreaking discoveries that help us better understand how food impacts health. But it's up to us to utilize the tools. It's up to those of you who are, who are in the room and those whom you'll inspire. So I think of I think of the, the work of the PTFI, the work of Food EDU, uh, as, as the opportunity to, to revolutionize human health and agriculture in, in several different ways. It could lead to personalized nutrition. It could le lead to disease prevention and management. It could lead to food product development. It could lead to improved public health policies and so many other advancements. While I'm thrilled to see the official launch of the Periodic Table of Food Initiative. Uh, and, and, but I'm, I'm most inspired by the potential impact of everybody in this room and everybody uh, watching this, this broadcast. You know, if you think about it, think of all the work that went into the maps that are on every one of our phones, right? There, there are so many people and so many systems that went to place to make sure that we've got maps, but it's not the maps that are inspiring. What's inspiring is where we go with the maps. And think about the, the work that we've done. <laughs> I mean, I think of, I look around, I see so many faces that have toiled, that have, that have gone from meetings in this building and meetings elsewhere and countless Zoom meetings to think what this possibly could be. And we've developed incredible tools, but the tools themselves aren't what's inspiring. What's inspiring is what you'll do with the tools. So we're grateful to have these incredible resources and we're excited to be on this journey together. Thank you so much. Thank you, Paul.
And, and, and I'll, again, I love this collaboration and the PTFI and the tools it's creating has so much power to, as Paul said, revolutionize how we think about nutrition and agriculture.